All right, guys, keep bringing the ship up. Uh, come my way a little bit to the left. Oh my God, what are you guys doing? You are literally sideways right now. Guys, what are you doing? Get, oh my God, no, go, go to the right, you're upside. All right, you guys have been asking me, Shrogs, how the heck do you park a ship in Sea of Thieves? And I'm just gonna tell you guys up front, it is not about how cool you can look bringing your ship to a stop. It's not about making it look like you're parked perfectly at the dock when you're at an outpost. The most important thing when it comes to parking a ship is simply how efficiently can you pick up loot and drop loot off from your ship. All right, so something that I see a lot of players do when I'm playing with people online is this is how most people will park and I would really caution you to do this is they'll come sailing straight in and they'll be like, all right, someone be ready on the anchor and then they'll call it out just as they get close. It's like a rough estimate, like three, two, one. Okay, drop that anchor and they try to time it. The problem is with this is nine out of 10 times you end up this far away from the outpost and now it's like, okay, yeah, we got to turn in loot. And it's like, you got to pick this up and now it's now you got to swim all the way across and then climb the ladder. Now this isn't going to be the best method I show you, but it's honestly a hundred times better than the first method we saw, which is the wrong way to do it. Honestly, what I'm about to show you is not a joke. It is better than the guy who parks 20 feet away from the island. So if you're not that good at parking, and you don't want to waste everyone's time, this is honestly the next best thing you got. So let's say we're going to the Merchant Alliance lady. We want to try to get as close as we can to the dock. You don't want to park on the wrong side of the island or else you're just wasting everyone's time. So all we want to do is get as close as we can to this dock. And here we go. This is the, this is the next best, me best method. Okay, you hit, you drop anchor. Okay, now look at that, that's pretty good. And now we have a really short distance for turning in our loot. That's pretty good. The only downside to this is now we got to repair our ship. All right, and for the third example, I fudged my recording, so I'm just doing a voiceover here. But this is the one where it's more professional. You're not crashing into the dock, but you're still aiming to get the front of your ship as close to whoever it is you're turning your loot in. So here I'm going into the Merchant Alliance Lady, and guys, seriously, get this thing as close as you can. Here I'm using harpoons to force the front of my ship right next to the lady. It's not about looking pretty. It is simply... Get as close as you can so you can turn in loot. Like here you're going to see my front end is positioned perfectly. And once I get it there, I anchor. And I'm going to check for repair because I did take a little bit of damage. But who cares? Because when it comes to turning in loot, let's say you had 100 pieces of Merchant Alliance loot. You just pick it up and set it down onto the dock for a fast turn in. This is the most efficient thing you can do is just literally get your ship on top of whatever it is. Merchant Alliance is clearly the easiest because she's on the dock. But imagine if you had a bunch of loot, you're just walking a couple feet to turn this in and it makes it really easy for your crew and it's going to make life a lot better for you. All right, that's all I got for you guys. I lost a bunch of my footage and I'm out of time, so I can't go back and redo it. I got too much school and too much work this week to be spending any more time on this video. So sorry guys, but hopefully this was enough. The most important thing is it's not about being pretty, it's simply does it work. And if crashing the ship into the island or right into the dock is the best way for you to get as close as possible to whoever it is you're turning your loot into, then just do that because it's not about looking pretty, it's simply how much time can I save and get loot turned in faster, that way I'm not spending 30 minutes at the end of every play session turning in loot. You want to try to cut that time down as much as possible. So I hope you guys got some idea of how to go about doing this. Just realize if it's the gold hoarders or the order of souls, you just ram your ship into the beach or get as close to that specific building on the island. So maybe you might need to scout the island out and then get make sure you're at the right part of the island. That way you're not running across the entire island to get to that person. But once you figure it out, get as close as you can and turn that loot in quickly. That's all I got for you guys. So thank you so much for watching the video. Please give it a like if you liked it. And please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. It's the number one way that you can support me. And it means a lot. I am aiming to get 1,000 subs. We just hit 500 subs yesterday or two days ago now. 
and it's super exciting. So thanks guys who have hit subscribe. I can't wait to make more content for you guys. Don't forget I'm gonna be live streaming this Saturday, gonna be giving away probably around four plunder passes, so make sure you're there. All right, that's all I got for you guys. So I will see you in the next video, and until then, take care.